It affects an estimated 30% of people in the U.S., mostly children and adolescents, but there is some new research that's providing hope to those who have eczema. And a new study tonight has found there may be a way to actually predict who will develop the disorder. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain how that may actually prevent the skin condition. Exactly, Pam and Karen. So eczema, also known as atopic dermatitis, affects the largest organ of the body, that is our skin. It causes dry, red, itchy patches, and it's commonly linked to other health conditions like food allergies and asthma. But the ability to predict who will develop eczema could help us target individuals with therapies to protect the skin and ultimately prevent its development. It's a very common problem, and the group who has severe disease is uh, particularly affected. So figuring out who it will affect is important. In a new study, non-invasive samples were taken using skin tape from children at two months of age, and they were monitored until they turned two years old. Researchers found the skin of those who went on to develop eczema had increased levels of a protein called TSLP being released into the skin. At two months of age, we could skin tape and actually predict who was going to get atopic dermatitis and who wasn't. Lead author Dr. Donald Young says knowing who will get eczema may help prevent it in the future. We found preliminarily that lipid creams uh, are the best at improving the barrier, but we are optimizing now this cream uh, in the lab and then in the clinic. Leung says researchers are also looking for natural substances that can reduce the amount of the protein causing the problem and allow the skin cells to mature properly. Now, the study's author says they hope to study babies from the time of birth and mothers while they're pregnant to really try and figure out when the reaction starts. Now, as I said earlier, people with eczema, they do have a greater tendency to develop food allergies and asthma. While this research actually focused on early markers for eczema, it is possible it could also help identify people at risk for developing those other conditions as well. So while they continue doing the research and looking forward, what about the people who have eczema now? Like, right. what is the best advice? Well, that's an important point you know so dry skin is really your biggest enemy so winters are usually especially bad now moisturizers can help tremendously also limiting hot showers that basically strip the skin of its natural oils can be helpful but lastly I should point out that especially in children with food allergies eczema can be triggered by certain foods so you should be mindful of those triggers to help avoid that itchy rash does the loofah thing help too to, like, to get yes rid of sloughing can actually help too you just have to be right but you have to be careful about basically the, the trauma to the skin because the trauma to the skin can also make it worse. It's hard, especially yeah. in Michigan. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, yep. Doc.